Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Dishonored 2. Oh, my goodness. We're playing the DLC. We get to play as Billy Lurk, and we're going to hunt down the Outsider and save Dowd? I don't even know what's about to happen. I don't even know what's... How do you kill the Outsider? I feel like that might be a red herring title. We're going to find out. Also, she has the eye and the uh, robo arm. Hashtag not my Billy. My Billy I saved and reverted her to normal through the powers of time travel. So I guess this is an alt reality version of that. I don't know. I don't know what the canonical version of Billy is, but here's hoping uh, whatever happens, this is a fun time for all. So let's jump right in. New game. Empty slot. Uh, medium's fine. Custom. Whoa, interesting. No, we'll go medium. Except. You're on the lookout for your old mentor, Dowd, whom you've not seen in 15 years. Rumor speaks of a clandestine boxing club that uses black magic and bone charms at the Albarca Baths. Could he be there? Why would he be there? Why would he have been there? What? You know what? I'm not going to doubt. <laughs> I'm not going to judge. Dowd's a crazy person. He would be there if he was there. You're absolutely right, game. My name is Billy Lurk, though there aren't many people who remember. For years, I stayed hidden, captain of a ship called the Dreadful Whale. I was a smuggler, fence, and maybe traitor, depending on who you ask. Our names are always overshadowed by the words whispered after them. If you hide from the world long enough, eventually nobody remembers you. Then you're alone, living with your choices. But I could never forget the man who pulled me up from nothing. Dowd, the Knife of Dunwall. A name called out by the desperate or the dying. The assassin who ended one empress and saved another. Shame burns inside you for a long time. When I betrayed Dowd, he let me live. I left Dunwall and my own name behind. For years, I wondered if I was worth forgiving. For years I laughed at myself for even wanting a killer's forgiveness. Sometimes mercy cuts deeper than any knife. Now I know that forgiving is something you do for yourself as much as for the people who hurt you. I know Dowd is in Karnatha, and I'm going to find him. Every night for weeks, the same terrifying dream. A street fight, my arm dead and lying in the gutter. My eye gouged out by a Grand Guard sword. But when I wake up, they still hurt for hours. Gives me the creeps. This always brought me a little comfort. You stole this for me, didn't you, Deirdre? Now it's all I have left of you. Another relic from the old days. Time out! Still holds Hold the phone! Least. Uh, what? That boxing club in the Albarca Baths is my last lead. Dowd has to be there. I have my hands. I have my hands. I have my eyes. Y'all? I didn't think it was going to let me do this. Oh, my God. I was about to say, as, as I was watching the intro video, I was like, well, that doesn't make a lick of sense that the low chaos ending of the DLC from Dishonored 1 and the low chaos ending of Dishonored 1 were canonical. And I was like, if that's the case, then shouldn't it be the case that if I did Dishonored 2 low chaos then the low chaos version of Billy exists in this one. And it does. She is totally whole with hand and eye. The devs, they tricked me. They told me it wouldn't be this way. I am pleasantly surprised. So I wonder if the weird time warp mechanics that I saw in the uh, beta stuff that I played are still in effect. Because in those, it looked like she was whole again. But maybe when I see them now, she's gonna have like a screwed up eye and hand. I don't know. I guess I guess we'll find out. Okay. Empress Emily Caldwin moves to heal. Oh, it's Deidre. Is this what you would have looked like, my sweet Deirdre? I would have died soon after you if it hadn't been for Dowd. Question, what am I working with right now? I assume I don't have all the powers of Corvo or Dowd. Uh, well, I don't even have all the weapons. I have two, two types of ammo, no mana. Uh, interesting. Okay. So I've got like a normal shot and an electro shot that I assume is my stun. 
I imagine I'll get more as time goes on, although I may not because I'm not marked by the outsider. Okay, let's do this. Emily Caldwin moves to heal Fractured Empire. Renovation projects in the Tower District are finally underway as the last funeral rites were performed for High Overseer Yul Kulon and the Brothers of the Faith who died in an attempt to retake Dunwall Tower from the now deposed usurper, Delilah Copperspoon. The Abbey of the Everman has spent the last several months consecrating and interring the remains of the Fallen, while also removing dangerous and heretical objects from the Imperial Palace. With representatives from the Isles beside her, Empress Emily Caldwin issued a statement yesterday morning, urging unity in the wake of this great tragedy. The Empire's strength is in its diversity of thought and action. Working together, there is nothing we can't accomplish. We are pleased to reassert our partnership with the sovereign nations of Morley, Sirkonos, and Tivia for our mutual peace and prosperity. Following these proceedings, several Imperial proclamations have been issued, with the aim to restore trading networks and communication across the Isles. Several large-scale project works have been announced, with architectural firms in Sarkonos and Morley already competing for the commissions. So, Her Imperial Highness is back on the throne. If she knew what I was doing now, she'd probably try me for treason. I don't know, I feel like the girl I raised would be more intrigued with what's going on than angry. Sokolov establishes studio in Tivia. Oh, Sokolov. Renowned natural philosopher and painter Anton Sokolov returned to Tivia this week after years of retirement in Kanaka. Sokolov, whose inventions and technological marvels are famed throughout the Isles, was greeted with the fanfare and panoply due a national hero. A parade in his honor culminated in a festival on Mastrov Square in Dabokva, where Sokolov gave a brief speech announcing the establishment of his studio. When asked about his future plans, the inventor responded, I've already done enough for several lifetimes. The inventor was overwhelmed by the infernal noise of the parade and left the celebration early. He gave no indication whether or not his studio will accept apprentices. Good to see the old man made it up north. I was lucky to know him. I wonder what poor soul is dealing with him now. That's cool Sokolov gets to retire. I think that's pretty cool for him. Still an asshole, though. Forgiven. I wouldn't have blamed Emily for killing me then and there. Bring down an empress and everything gets thrown into chaos. A lot of people got hurt. It was worse than that, wasn't it? I helped kill her mother. That's two times I was spared, but at least I got to put it right. Is this how Dowd felt? Feels? My dreams are getting worse, too. Stronger. Sometimes I stare at my right arm like it shouldn't be there, and my head hurts like I'm blinded by blood. I started to write it all down just to keep a handle on it. Two weeks until I'm back in Karnaka, the longest two weeks of my life. If I even make it, the engine is rattling bad. My old self again. It felt good to say the name, even better to hear it. And now it's on every corner of Karnaka, wanted, Billy Lurk. I've been sending out messages to my contacts in the city, following up on sightings and rumors, but nothing yet. I even listen to the rats. Sometimes they know things others don't, and their voices remind me so much of Deidre. Ah, so instead of Jessamine's heart, we have the heart with the, the rat thing on it that Deidre gave us, which basically lets us talk to rats in Deidre's voice. Question mark? I found the old man's wanted poster in a trunk. Now I'm looking for Dow just like all of Dunwall was years ago. I hope I have more luck than they did. A long shot. One last lead. An underground boxing club of all places. Dow could be fighting there. Maybe another dead end, but I have to be sure. I tried to pump out the engine room, but no use. My ship's dead in the water. Megan Foster would have been furious, but I'm not. I've got other things to care about now. Like... Industrial espionage. Burn the White Hound. What? Oh, contracts. Okay, cool. An eyeless hag stole my poor Milky. He's white as well bone, but riddled with disease. It breaks my heart to ask this of you. But if you find my Milky, please put him out of his misery and burn his remains. Oh my god. Uh, okay. Those thugs of the Albaca make potions and bone charms upstairs. Their liquor is vile, but it sells for good coin, and we're losing punters to them by the day. Bring us that rat liquor recipe before our brewery goes out of business, and make sure to destroy that stock while you're at it. So basically on this mission I have to find rat booze and a plagued dog and dispense with them Burglary, both. Burglary, spying, picking pockets. Dowd taught me more than just killing. It can keep me afloat. For now. Okay, I'm alright with that. I see that we can make money this way. Uh, this reminds me of when you played as Dowd in the other DLC. 
Uh, what else we got? A map of the Isles. Some booze. Oh, crystal cider. Oh, here we go. The Lonely Rat Boy and Other Tales. One. It was the year the Rat Plague sank its bloody teeth into Dunwall and tore out all its mercies. The year the people who lived submerged within the shadows of the city's great edifices suffered most. This lonely child knew no family but a small white rat. Whatever pieces of half-rotted food he found he shared with this creature. He knew no name. Only the vile curses thrown at him by the thugs and mudlarks who tormented him daily. Their fists raised, their knives on his skin, how they grinned, bearing all their blackened teeth. The boy, bruised and shaken, cradled his little friend to his chest as they sat together in some dark alley for a moment's breath. Soon the city watch found him. Move on, the watchman said. The boy did not know where to go. He pleaded with the man who answered with a truncheon across the youngster's cheek. Move on, he said again with a scowl. The boy turned to run. He'll be weeping soon. He heard the watchman spit. The boy's heart stuttered with fear. The rat watched him plaintively with red eyes. No one will help us, the boy said to his only friend. Uh, question. I know that that takes place supposedly in the years of the rat plague from Dishonored 1, but do you think there's something there in relation to the outsider and his origin? Because as we know, the outsider was human at one point. Oh, shit, crumpled papers. Oh, are these the notes about her dreams? It hurts to write. I tried to have a dreamless night by drinking some of that foul liquor Anton left behind, but the dream came anyway, and now my head hurts just like it bashed against a wall. The sea's choppy this morning, too. Just my luck. I've been to some nasty spots in the past, but I never had to pinch my own face shut or watch my hand twitch in the street. So why do I keep dreaming it? Every time it feels more like a memory than anything else. And it's getting worse. I'll have the dream, then the fingers on my right hand are stiff for hours in the morning, and I can barely tie a knot, and my right eye will go blind without warning. I don't know what to do. If I tell anyone about it, they'll just think I'm drinking Anton's liquor every night. I'm throwing the rest of that bottle overboard. And I know we're like 10, 11, 12 minutes into this episode, and a lot of people are probably like, where's the action? But this shit is fascinating to me. I am fascinated by it. Last night, I fell asleep holding the charm Deidre gave me. I remember her picking some rich man's pocket for some coin or a watch, but instead she pulled out this thing, dead and humming. She bundled it up with a braid of her own hair and gave it to me for luck. But it wasn't luck that made the rats start talking. Ooh, I knew it! It was only after Deidre lay dying that it started whispering her sweet voice to me. I dreamed her in patches, red hair peeping out of her baker boy hat, those sharp eyes, the quickest hands in Dunwall. We used to lie together, and the feeling of her fingertips across my skin would be the only thing in the world to me. I closed my eyes and nothing else would matter. But in the dream, she looked at me like she'd been alone so long she couldn't even recognize me. I reached out, and my arm was gone, and I could barely see her through the blood and pain. So far away, and me half missing. It was an older wound that hurt this time. When I woke up, I was alone again. I don't know what I expected. I've been alone on this ship for weeks. Nobody but me, and the rats that chew up the wires in the engine room, and then tell me with a laugh. I love that she has her own version of the heart. It's her dead lover, but only through rats. That's, cr that's crazy. Also, rats are assholes, we've learned. The dream again. It was the Grand Guard, I know it this time. A fight I couldn't handle, a misstep, a mistake, an eye cut open and a sword arm lying in the street. Me, not even half myself, staggering through Karnaka, trying to tie off a tourniquet with my teeth, pulling with all my strength as I feel each heartbeat shudder a little slower, a little weaker. When I woke up, my right arm was numb right up to the elbow, and my right eye stung as bad as the time Anton tried to cook hot peppers on the griddle in the galley. It's like my mind's playing tricks on me. It takes me a while every morning to know what's real. So, changing time has definitely left some scars. The question is... Did I do a good thing, or is this a terrible thing? Don't mess with time travel, I guess, is the, is the answer there. These are the strongest they've ever been. Feels like I'm dying each time. I'll be in some alley in Karnaka, the sleeve of my coat soaked to the shoulder in blood, half blind, face split open like a river crust. Thieves waiting to check my head for gold teeth and grab a better pair of boots, with a grand guard, swords bloody, laughing as I die. It's a little different each time, but not by much. 
When I wake up, I look in the glass just to make sure my eye is where it was the night before. And who in the aisles has to check to make sure their own damn arm hasn't been hacked off in the night? Ridiculous. I'm running low on tobacco. With how much I've packed my pipe the nights when I can't sleep. Don't know what I'll do when it's gone. Damn, I genuinely feel bad for setting things right, I think is what I did. I don't know. But uh, Billy is in a bad place right now. What else we got? There's stuff on the board back there, but is there anything... The hell? Who is this? Billy Lurk and the fake Duke? I hope that's the fake Duke, or else this is a weird photo. I mean, it makes sense. She helped put him in power, so I guess that's pretty cool. Looks like he's doing good things with the power he's been given. I've been searching for months. I know you're here, Dowd. Somewhere. Everyone in Dunwall was afraid of him then, but not me. That club is run by a gang that call themselves the Eyeless. They claim to fight using black magic. If that's true, then Dowd might be involved. Dude's got his own underground fight club? I I don't know why. I don't know why that would be the case. Eyeless, remain eyesore for our city. Two raids by the Grand Guard occurred last night, resulting in few arrests and investigations continue into the activities of the gang known as the Eyeless. Both raids were conducted on derelict warehouses in the Campo Santa Dockyards. Several shipments of whalebone were found at both scenes, along with many carved talisman familiar on sailing ships. These trinkets, marked with strange insignias, were collected along with various unidentified powders, noxious plants, and vials of unknown liquid. Though these items add credence to the rumors of black magic being practiced by the Eyeless, the Grand Guard has not called for Overseer support. Roving Vice Overseer Cardoza of the Abbey of the Everyman, when reached for comments, stressed the spiritual dangers of carved bone charms and, if found, to bring them directly to your nearest Overseer outpost for inspection and disposal. He gave no further remarks on the Grand Guard's ongoing investigation. Went to see old Madge again. Traded some old whalebone and a bit of hair, not mine, for information. She's making charms for the eyeless now. Good clients pay regular. Left before Madge tried to pick my pocket. Some witches from the Royal Conservatory joined the eyeless. Powerless now. None from Brigmore days would remember me, at least. No reason to think they'd look twice if I go in like anyone else. Are these people just messing around, or is there something I'm not seeing? I think I lost my pocket knife. Madge? Curse that old woman. Can't know if Dowd's at the Albarca bath until I go check it out for myself. Last lead I got. Dowd's had the mark of the outsider in his hand for as long as I've known him. I've gone through every gang-infested slum asking after this, and no one would tell me a thing. Reply from Isobel. Megan, you must be pretty desperate if you're writing me about this. Yeah, I saw him. He set up a meeting to buy some of those funny explosives that fell off the back of a carriage a few months ago. I waited for him, but he never showed. Sorry I can't be any more help. I haven't seen or heard from him since. Put me in a real bind. Isabel. Also, hey, you were kind not to mention it, but don't forget I still owe you that case of fig wine after what happened last time. Give me two more months. I swear I'll get it to you. Karnaka is full of secrets. If I have any clues about where Doubt is, it's because he let me find them. Reply from Kitterick. Dearest Megan, what an intriguing message. Who's this then, an old lover? Forgive me, but he really doesn't seem your type. But, if you must, I heard a rumor a few months ago from some gentleman that a man looking like that had been spied with those bizarre eyeless. I filed that piece of gossip away just in case it was important. Lucky you. When are you coming back here? Make it soon, we miss you. We have some of that tobacco you like stored away just in case you visit. Loving you always, Evie Kettering. Reply from T. Billy, or Megan, or whatever you go by these days, I don't know anymore. It was easy to pretend we didn't know each other when you were Megan. We agreed to respect our new lives and not dredge up bad memories. So what are you doing? Yeah, I saw him two years ago here in Karnaka. He even asked after you. I said I hadn't seen you since that night in the flooded district. I'm sure you know why I lied. He never stopped killing, you know. He's got the same old grudges. I just hope you're not one of them, T. I think that that may finally be it. We have read everything? Oh, nope. Your Imperial Highness, thank you for the gift. While your generosity is... Mm, to Empress Emily Caldwin, 
I don't want your coin. Lady Emily! I can't take your coin after what I did. I'm trying to find a way to make peace. Dear Emily, I wish to do. Men vest, seal hatch, bullets, whiskey. I like that by sparing Billy when you played as Dowd, you've unlocked sort of a really complicated... Actually, we're going to try and find a way back here. You've unlocked a really complicated character. Right? By letting a character who originally was pretty much just like, I'm only looking out for myself and I don't care and I'm going to listen to these witches and you're a dick, Dowd. You've kind of made her as complicated as Dowd became. And I love that about this. Also, there was no way in there. Okay. Uh, let's look around. I have no vision and only a heart that lets me talk to rats, so... I feel like it's about to get a little bit more complicated to discover things. That's fine. We'll give it the old once over. So it's locked downstairs, I assume, because it's flooded. And the boat's not going anywhere because the engine room is defunct. Okay. Do this. This station hasn't been used for years. Hiding the dreadful whale wasn't easy, but it's safe so far. All right. Oh, look at this. I wonder if there's anything in the water. Maybe. You know what? Not even gonna bother. Let's just. Get... Fish. Evil fish are in the water. Oh shit. What can you? Rat whispers. Press E to hear the thoughts of rats. These little creatures whisper to one another, exchanging information about what is going on in the streets and basements from their point of view. Their mutterings are often cryptic, but sometimes they can give useful clues. Ooh. Hello, rat boys. You tell me today, my little gutter friends. The friend sees. The friend hears us. One of us. One of us. But ugly and big. Still friend. Rats are rude, too. She fed us in lean times, tossed us grains and crumbs. Loud voices came, metal flashed. More blood and floods on the floor. Our first feast will wrap her up. So rude. Come on, come here, rat. Tell that to the rats on my ship. Flee small places when the water comes. Flee long places. Drink, drink, drink. Fills up street. Makes us climb up to new danger. I don't know if any of these are clues so far. Just interesting rat information. All is set. Climb up, up, up. Hide inside a dark little belly. Wood rocks, water flows. None of this is helpful, rats. What? Do you know anything? Keep in the water. Had a fish bite as we swim. Careful, careful. Watch your fins. Watch your black biting house. All right, no, that's actually useful information. That's helpful. F those fish. Garbage, garbage, garbage. Yep, that's all this is. Doesn't appear to be anything except the carriage, which I guess I need to jump into. Wow, they're just like, get started already. Even the game's like, you spent forever reading, just go, Cox. Fine, jeez. Sure, to the baths. You're on the lookout for your old mentor, Dowd, whom you've not seen in 15 years. Rumor speaks of a clandestine boxing club that uses black magic and bone charms, but I know all that, so let's continue. All right. The old Albarca baths shouldn't be far. So, it's definitely canon. It's not quite the old life, but it feels good. I wonder if Dowd has seen these. Man, I can't get over the fact that I really just got punked by the devs. I truly thought that my choices didn't matter in this, but I should have known. 
Oh my god, what the? Uh. Yep. Taxes, 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 and see you in the void, suckers! Alright, so I definitely can break that, but let's... What the hell are they doing over here? Fidelia's Journal. Ooh, it's one of the witches. Second Earth. I tried the old incantations over the teeth and strings like before, but it didn't work. It always used to work. Is the magic really gone? I heard about a gang from one of my sisters. She said they'd do things like we had together. I don't know where else to go. 27th Earth. The Eyeless might be content with scratched up bones and rat liquor, but I'm not. I tasted the dark waters of the void with my sisters. I know what it feels like to turn the things you hate to ash and to watch bright flowers bloom from the cinders. These people don't know real magic. Seventh the Nets. I think I found a way. If I can snatch one of the stray hounds off the street and steal some carved whalebone, I might be able to get back a glimmer of my power. I know what words to speak over it. I just hope the outsider listens. Tenth Nets. I used to raise dead hounds from the earth to stalk shadows and tear my enemies to pieces. And now, I watched the life run out of this wretched creature. Its heart shuddered and stopped and I felt nothing. Just pity. It's gone. Interesting. So they've lost all their powers. So they're just like normal women now. Trust Michaels with your treasures. Sham Yun. Private concert sold out. Release thy golden locks, Gloriana, and among the ox rush blooms. Okay, let's do this and give it the old hat. Hey rats, what's going on? What are you where are you guys going? Any information? Wait. What am I waiting for? What are you looking at? What You're supposed to help me! Oh, rats are assholes. Okay. Who is that? We smell them from here. Sour fear. They carry scratched bones, carved wood, blood, and soft feather. No use. Death still finds them. Rats are just really good shit talkers. I don't know what I don't know what other use they have. They're not really helping me. Uh, uh oh, stealth. Be stealthy. Okay. We got a guy there. Oh, which I'm gonna sneak up on and give him the old hoopty doopty. Hey there, pal. This shirt reeks. I've got to get a spare uniform. Give him the old squeeze and tease, and uh, yeah, ironic. The person he was looking at is the person who knocked his ass out. That's irony. I don't actually think that's irony. Okay, rats, don't kill this guy. I know you're assholes, but ooh, perfect. Anyone else here? Do I have abilities? I mean, what do I have? I have. Just that, huh? Nothing here except a broken carriage. And... Nothing really over here. Well, there's this. Oh. Quick access wheel. Yeah, I've been looking at that. So far, there's nothing on it of value. Ooh, speaking of value. Oh my god, you're a fig. That's so good. Grindstone. Anything up here? Uh oh. Ah, shit. Okay, well, this is where I'm supposed to go. And this is another path there. Rats, why didn't you warn me about those guys? Oh my god. Useless is what they are. Anything else over here? Anything at all. Attention! Don't use Animir Solution. That shit's terrible. Guess that explains why I have no mana. Okay. So I can go this way. Oh my god. 
I can go up there if I want to. Can I sneak? Uh oh. Combat! I don't want to fight them. Saw our orders. Captain says to find out what the Eyeless Gang's doing inside the Outbar. Yeah, I know what they're doing. That place reeks of black magic. You see the people who went in there? Go after them and they'll curse your cod with pus blisters. If you're lucky. Not superstitious. Don't believe all that hocus pocus crap. A gang's a gang. Okay, so it's just those two guys? Ah, and then they split up. Also, I got a clue. The Grand Guard is aware of illegal activity at the Albarca Baths. Guards are waiting for reinforcements. Uh-oh, so are they just going to show up at some point? What if they didn't do that? Okay, so we got that guy over there. And if he turns around, that'd be swell. Although, I guess I can grab his friend as he walks through here. Right? Like a big dummy. Where'd he go? Oh, he's over there. Lee. There once was a man from old Lampro, whose cockle was wee as a minnow. He tugged on it nightly, and then, ever so slightly, grew to be large as a narwhal. It doesn't even rhyme. God, I have to put you out of your misery for terrible, terrible rhymes. Oh, that tasted awful. Yeah. Oh, good night, my friend. Good night. Uh, let's put him... Is there a safe place I can put his ass that... Let's do it right here in this bush. Everything's fine. Nothing to see here, rats. Don't eat him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, shit. Uh. You don't see nothing. Definitely not famed... Oh, my God. Famed outlaw Billy Lurk. <sighs> Come on, come on, Billy. Let's do the old running. Yeah, there we go. And then we'll get back up here. Now, if he could just look the other way while I take him out, baby. There's a bone charm nearby. What? We'll deal with that in a sec. Uh, hey, pal. Just click the button. It's fine, though. Oh! Lieutenant, I've received reports of illegal activity at the old Arbaca Baths, and I suspect the Eyeless Gang is involved. This could be our chance to finally strike a blow against those degenerate rat eaters. I want you to scout the area with your squad and gather as much information as you can before then, but don't take any risks. The dick... The dick... The Dockyard District will send reinforcements for a raid momentarily. Okay. Ooh. I'll take that. And that gives me a shot, not an actual... And I have a map, which I guess I'm going to look at with this guy on my shoulder. Okay, so there's the station. The station took me to here, and that's where I came in from, and then this area leads to the baths. Okay. Uh-oh. Oh, I just want to dump him. No, I don't want to... Uh. All right, you're going to be on this... I'm going to put you actually over here. Because I'm nice like that. Unlike some people who would leave you to the rats. Let's get him a little wet. And put him next to his friend and they're going to wake up and be like, what happened? And it's going to be awkward and silly and fun. Boop. So, there's definitely a way up there. And there's a way right here. Well, let's go... Bone charm nearby. Rats, what do you know? It's kind of cool how the rats saw the old rat plague. Cheers of treason. She cut off rest high in her bellies. 
Rice food, delicious food, soft, good flesh, blood like trust, blood like a trail. She never knew. What is going on with these rats? Why would I want to hear this show? Oh my god. All right, we got dogs. And again, bone charm nearby. Mm, that's nothing. This is the eyeless things about the eyeless. Are watching? Some of it strange. None of it good. Great. Okay. Ooh, I'll take that. Collect as many as possible for whatever's coming up here. Uh oh, neutral territory. Oh, okay, let's put away the weapons then, right? And uh, maybe attempt to get up here? Yeah. Oh, am I going this way? Yeah. we go. What the hell kind of place is this? A gross place? Let's flush that toilet. Ugh. Hey, our padilla soda! Oh shit, bathing salts! Hell yes, little more. Uh, guess that's it in here. Champion challenge. Could be a gimmick, but if they really do use magic, then I need to check it out. Especially someone known as the Black Magic Brute. Also, I'm taking this. Bone Charm! Yes, I know. Unnerving, unnerving target. Yes, I'm very well of, of what Bone Charms are, but okay, let's escape. What did I get? Enemies sometimes drop grenades and- oh god, I don't want that. I'm trying not to see- look! Oh, see! Her eye! Interesting. We'll be rich! Yeah, the black magic brute has to be Dowd, right? Has to be. 73 and 0. But Jenny the Reaper, she ain't bad. And Stout William, and then the Cutter. Oh, did I just steal their prize? Oops. We'll be rich! An excerpt from a journal. We've been here just a month, and I'm making coin hand over fist. It's a dream come true. Sure, it costs to keep that suppressor running, but it's paid for itself ten times over. Everyone wants to try to fight the brute. Oh, it's definitely down. All the new folks coming in because they heard we can do a bit of magic, thinking they're the one who'll break the brute's record. Ha! <laughs> they pay for it in coin and teeth. Better them than me. I could kiss the one who led us here into that magnificent bastard. So they're, they're using one of the old overseer tools to suppress his powers and then just having him cage fight people? Is that, is that what's happening? Pay what you owe. Oh, we got a safe. Is there a combination around here? Take that. Where would the combination be? Oh my, oh, oh, bread and grapes. Oh, so good. Oh, more grapes. Oh, and, oh yeah, that's just stuff. Got fig wine. And an apartment key. Cool, but no actual code for a safe. You think it's like one of these, like 730-225, something like that? Well, you know we're gonna find something eventually that's like, this is exactly what it is. So let's wait till we find that. I can't go out that way. So let's try this way. Anything uh, in here? Oh shit! What? <laughs> Another apartment key, okay. Oh, I guess that would've been how I got in here if- oh, alright, sure. <laughs> now I have two! And now I'm on the street. I imagine this is where I was gonna go anyway. Are people gonna freak out because I'm- Hello! Oh! Play your way, number one! Detection isn't the end! What if I didn't get detected? I'm fine though, right? Oh shit! I'll take that. Yeah, this is where I would've come up at. Absolutely. Okay. So, what's going on, fellas? Everything okay? Nothing over here. There is a path down there. How much you want to bet that leads to where the dogs are? Also, let's do this because F it. Whoop. 
You didn't see shit. Scarlet nightshade ointment. Whoa. Rub it on your chest before the match. You'll see. Scarlet nightshade? I tried black nightshade elixir once. Supposed to put strength in your swing. Rubbed it on and lost all feeling from the neck down for a fortnight. Numb as a dead card. Couldn't walk or stand from this without grudging so mad. I'll stick to the mm -hmm. more charms. Well, do what your gut says. But trust me, when you're getting carved up like a screaming piglet in the ring, you'll <clears throat> wish you'd tried my ointment. Interesting. Oh. I love how there are two factions, both of like sort of semi-magic users who rely on other people's powers and they all think they know what's what. That's pretty funny, actually. All right, so we got witches and gangsters and this guy who's a little broker now. Um, let's go down here. Anyone going to give me shit for this? I hope not. Probably a solid back entrance somewhere, maybe? I don't know. We'll find out together. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Sneaky. Sneaky. Quiet as the grave. Rats, do not rat me out. Moons like us, creeping into his nest, sleeping I can never tell these are supposed to be important. None of them seem to be, but I keep wanting to listen. Right down to the bone and gnaw and gnash. Eat it all up, yes. Eat it all up. This is just solid rat advice. None of it is helpful. Sour the fear. Sour the fear. They carry scratched bones. All right, so that's about the people upstairs. Gotcha. Can I open this? Hell yes. Ooh. Okay, we're still good. Shh, don't say a word. Oh, I'm taking that. Yep. And... Not sure what else I'm going to take. I'm afraid to touch anything. Grab those coins. Uh, the candles. Got a flask. Got a book. Whispers from the Void by Veronoli Mulani. Ooh, there's a third one. The Abbey of the Everman condemns any continued study into the Void and its existence, but consider, if you will, the whales hauled daily into Dunwall's great slaughterhouses. Are they more or less frightening when dangled from a butcher's hook? Is the thing rendered more mysterious, more dangerous, and more powerful when it has been dissected, studied, and categorized? No, I say. Natural philosophy may yet banish all uncertainties from the world and bring all that is feared beneath our knowing gaze. It's true, I am not a religious man, but one must respect the Abbey of the Everman for its continued moral guidance of our great empire. Surely even the High Overseer himself would agree that a thorough investigation to the Void would yield knowledge which could be used towards better protection against its malignancies. We would be able to subject the Void to scrutiny rather than to be subjected to its insidious influences. Everything that is known can be brought into the natural order of the world. If the Abbey would allow it, I'm sure we may one day traverse the void safely. We may be free of the outsider's whispers, if such a creature exists. Well, how about some foreshadowing there, I think. Although, I'm still wondering if the title of this game isn't just a red herring. Right, because, I mean, how do you kill the outsider? I'm starting to think the title, Death of the Outsider, means how did the Outsider become the Outsider that he is. Right? I don't know. We'll find out. It's curious is all I'm saying. <coughs> how you doing? You, uh, want to talk? Something fishy happening in there. Strange people coming and going in all hours. That's true. Look at them. Strange O's. Yo, what is this? Spring razor, cool. I'll never use it. Glad I have them. Mm, we got paint buckets. Or whatever the hell's in that bucket. I'm not going to judge. Sarconan guard. It's a thing. Dance calendar. Winslow safes. We get broken into all the time. Any 
and a spotlight. But really no other way inside the baths except for just walking on in. Ooh, hey pal. Yep. I'll take that whalebone, thank you very much. Although that guy's gonna get his axe kicked now. I feel bad for him. Hey there, how are you? You wanna turn around at some point? Like what if I go, yep, everything's fine. You don't see nothing. Can I talk to her? Hey, hi. You'll need bone charms or potions or something if you plan on fighting tonight. Well, I got something. But it ain't bone charms or potions. Boop. Hey, hi. You're early. Not much to see right now. So weird that they're so nonchalant about all this. Whoa, see you in the void, suckers. Look at all the dead people. Doubt is murderating. Oh my god, jelly deals. Alright, we have the baths. Entrance, private baths, the albarca, locker room. And rats. Hey guys, what's up? Oh, that definitely is a clue. You overheard the rats talking about an unconventional route to the second floor. Hell yes. Okay. There we go, rats. Oh, we got this lady. Uh, what you doing? I'm not drunk enough to have a conversation. All right, then. We got this restricted area. And the champion. Oh, my God. Uh, well, I'm pretty sure we found what we were looking for. Outsiders' eyes. Dowd. Holy shit. They're making him fight? I have to get him out of there. You don't look so tough. Look at you. Trapped like a hound in the pits. Open your masters will throw you a bone charm. How the hell do I get him out of here with all these people here? Whoa. Well, that's how down in there and we probably have to shut that off oh my god so we've got a bunch of different boxers and ooh, you, you didn't see nothing and another restricted area the ring the bookmaker you're fighting the black magic brute why don't you roll in sardine paste and swim through hagfish waters instead? It's a less painful death. Well, you think I can't take him? I can hold my own in the ring. I knife bigger blighters than him when I was a Bottle Street runner. And for less coin than I'll make when I win this match. You won't win. The brute cheats the eye with his speed. His moves are a blur. It's unnatural. Trust me. You won't Never land like a blow. Yesterday. Nobody and that I think fast. I'll give it up for nice good. Nice you, my friend. Better off in the void than another day like that. Brave the sensation. Straight up just rats in a bottle. Oh my god. So I have to destroy these and wherever the distillery is. Which I, I need to clear this room. I have to clear this room. And I have to... I better drop last night's taking the safe soon. Coins are overflowing the till. Oh. Okay, so this is the guy with the information about the safe. Disgusting this year. This place um, really pulls What if I just go? Yeah. Robbie, I dropped off the betting coin in the safe and hid your apartment key in the bucket by the door. Ooh, which I found, like you said. You're all set. You owe me two bottled rats for helping you this time. Alura. P.S. If you get the combination again, tally the books over your desk. Oh my. Oh, maybe that'll uncover your memory. Make a man crazy. You might want to watch that behavior of yours. I will. Watching. I'm just going to leave now. Don't. Hi. I'm just going to go back outside. I think I know what to do. Before we get in here, I might as well go back and do this, right? Okay, so that's where the key was. And over the desk, there's a code? Like, is it on the books? Wall? Or is it the books? Doubt's oh my god! To fight. Four 
five, one. Shut up. Four, five, one. Oh my god. I would have been here forever trying to match these combinations and trying to figure out what was going on here. Woo, look at that. Well, it's all mine now, suckers. Awesome. Let's close it. I don't want them knowing. Okay, let's go find a way to save doubt. You know, where's the payoff? Bring the strippers and boots! We do occasionally talk about video games. Bring the strippers and boots! I don't have time for video games. Bring the strippers and boots! Oh, thank God, I don't need pants now. Hey, JC! What are you doing? Not much. Making a fortune. It's a production of broadcast. Yeah, now sing music. It's a production of broadcast. Bring the strippers and boots! Now here to ask and answer one simple question. You got 